when Josh and I talk about it, we always call it like the black. Um, just really this kind of all-encompassing force that's in the back of your head that's saying, don't get up, don't go outside, you're not worth it. I was just crying and dad was like, you know, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't know. I was just crying for no particular reason. And I was tired um, all the time. I guess the strongest feeling for me that sticks out is like just a sense of like worthlessness. Somewhere inside of you, it doesn't feel like that's what should be happening. Like you should want to get up because the sun's out. I mean, you're fighting yourself every day. And I think people don't understand that as well as they should. would have like episodes of like extreme like rumination until my head hurt and I felt like I was going crazy. I'm actually not taking medication currently. I haven't taken medication for not quite a year yet. So I take Wellbutrin. I take Venafaxaline. I actually take Sertraline. How do you think depression has affected our family and people that we know as a whole. I mean a lot. My grandfather was almost definitely clinically depressed even though he was never seen by a doctor. Um, his father um, was probably depressed as well. My grandpa's mother died in childbirth giving birth to him and his father kind of always held that against him and didn't talk to him very much and a lot of this is outside the realm of logic or would seem to be it's all a lot of it is emotional i could have somebody next to me saying i love you i love you and you can hear it but it's not a big enough stick to like fend it off.